Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All Educational Videos and Tutorials. Today I will show you how to change game FPS or frames per seconds. Uh, and that button is called Game Options and you can find it uh, in uh, Game Maker Studio and you don't even have to watch this tutorial if you don't have much time uh, here it is in uh, top um, we can say left part of the screen and uh, it says game option on it so if you don't see very well I can zoom it here on my screenshot so it's this button game options between uh, the play and the zoom buttons and next to the to this question mark help I think button so all you have to do is press that button and yeah next to the help so game options press it and you will see uh, the first uh, main options general uh, ta uh, tab which will open has games I will zoom it game frames per second which is by default 60 and that means that your game will run 60 frames per second meaning that will affect your game in different ways so uh, for example i will show one or two examples but the easiest way uh, to test it and understand it is that uh, your step event which you can create with add event step and add that event to any kind of object you have but it has to be object you cannot add events to sprites and so on so add step event and this step event will run the code which is in it for 60 times per second or every frame so if you have game with more frames per second that means your events your uh, game maker studio engine will um, have to work more it will uh, work uh, faster uh, the more pressure will be on it and if you have a lot of code a uh, lot of objects and a lot of um, uh, complex code mechanics and so on uh, sometimes it can uh, crash your um, computer or your game it can freeze it or make it uh, glitch and so on so you don't want to go wild with this number and um, uh, you use this number uh, in uh, other cases we will see that now uh, to as a guide as a guide um, guideline guide uh, to uh, how many seconds or um, frames you something um, uh, is working by on uh, your game so in my ca case uh, in last video which I shot and uploaded on YouTube I have made the video about um, gml visual drag and drop block which is called set alarm countdown and uh, you don't have to watch my video but you can find that uh, block in your game maker studio or find some other tutorial on it but in short um, your um, the whole idea with the with that set alarm countdown is that you use some code set alarm countdown to make um, some kind of countdown alarm which will trigger your code later in the game so it's like some kind of clock some kind of timer some kind of wait instruction for you uh, or to be more precise your game and uh, you use it when you want to delay some kind of action you want to postpone uh, you don't want that action to trigger once uh, immediately right away so you want for example uh, something to happen like five seconds or 50 seconds later in the game or when uh, some uh, enemy or player triggers something then uh, give him like five or ten or 50 seconds or whatever you like to uh, until you trigger something else and so on so this is very useful block and you will use it probably a lot uh, but uh, the thing which you have to be aware and why I'm explaining all of this is this 
countdown. So you can see there is some kind of number there, 180. So is it seconds? Is it minutes? Is it uh, is it uh, hours? What is it? Uh, it's actually frames frames per seconds in terms of what we have just explained here. So uh, if my games game runs 60 frames per second, that means I have to divide this with 60 and that means this countdown will happen in 3 seconds. So sometimes you will be confused with that, um, with these numbers or these uh, blocks and fields. So you can maybe accidentally type insta instead of 180 uh, type 3 meaning okay I will use I need my countdown to start uh, from 3 seconds and go down 3, 2, 1, go uh, no, actually in most of the these uh, uh, I think all of those blocks you will use frames per seconds and you have to be aware of that that's why I'm explaining this and sometimes you will want to change that for example, let's see this game which we are making in a my tutorial so far I made some kind of spawner which makes uh, zombies in top right uh, bottom right sorry screen every three seconds so one two three uh, one two three and it goes so okay this is 180 and actually I made a mistake in previous video I couldn't find this uh, button that's why I'm making this video today uh, so uh, yeah it happens a lot uh, to me with uh, because I'm jumping from one game engine to another ma uh, working on a couple of uh, projects at the same time uh, and that's also a good thing you don't have to remember it just try to find it in uh, wherever you think it is game options okay is it here cool it is if it is I, I was looking for this option in preferences and uh, I don't want to confuse you with those now so let's get back to uh, this one okay so for example if I uh, I wasn't sure uh, until I found this button here how uh, fast my game is running is it running uh, 30 or 60 frames per second those are mostly uh, default values in most game engines so okay I could um, test my game like I did and see if that will work but uh, sometimes you want that to be really precise or you want to use really really uh, specific values so it won't be you won't be sure until you check that in game options prefer uh, game options general game frames per second so for example if I want my uh, game to my zombie spawner to work on um, uh, six seconds instead of 180 frames per second that means three because I divide it with 60 uh, I could just use okay 60 frames per second and I want six seconds that is six times 60 that is 360 countdown so and I have the countdown here also so because I made the loop uh, that's uh, now it should work in uh, like six seconds I think in six sec seconds it should spawn the zombie okay one two three four five six yeah i'm not very precise but that's it so this works so you can um, use this uh, game frames per second uh, value and that as a guideline to know when you want to change some uh, values in your countdown or uh, animation also and and so on so uh, that's one way but other way is also to uh, be aware that sometimes um, your game designer or uh, programmers or, or whoever works with you will uh, have to set a limit uh, maybe uh, on your game because it has to run on uh, lower uh, low end computers and so on so he will um, emphasize that your game frames per second should be 30 instead of 60 and then 
you have to be aware if you uh, already wrote some kind of code so now because I have used my countdown here with 360 that means 360 divided with 30 now that will be 12 seconds right so this will be too slow for my game so uh, just be aware and try to define game frames per seconds uh, before you start coding or as soon as possible uh, because otherwise later if you uh, forget to do that maybe you uh, your code will uh, need uh, to be rewritten or uh, changed and so on so for example okay my frames per second are 30 now but I want this to happen in 6 seconds so 6 times 30 is 100 and 80 and now we are back at spawning zombies at six seconds uh, that's it I think a very very simple but very important uh, thing uh, to uh, think about and to define and um, so on so um, frames per second and where to find them, where to change them. Thanks for watching and see you soon.